Did you know that the health of your gut actually has a massive, massive impact on your weight loss attempts? That's what we're gonna investigate in this video. And before diving into it today, if you're looking for more awesome ways to simplify the process of building muscle, losing fat, and just really improving your health, tap that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we release new videos. With that being said, let's get into it. What's up everybody, my name is Skylar Deem. I'm a lifestyle fat loss coach and in terms of gut health, I have had a really, really interesting history. Because of the way that I was eating, because of the supplements I was consuming back in high school and college, I would basically destroy my gut to the point where I would get so anxious in social situations that I would physically throw up. Not only that, I would be bloated, I would be consistently tired throughout the day, always taking naps, and I wasn't to that point of optimal health that I wanted to be. So thankfully, after a couple years of really researching, making sure shifts with my nutrition, changing my lifestyle habits, I was able to completely cure that. I haven't thrown up from anxiety. I don't have digestive issues. I'm not tired all the time. I truthfully feel incredible. And so I'm a big proponent of making sure that your gut is healthy. Now, gut health is one of those things that I truly believe impacts most other things in your life. And we'll talk about that in a second. But what I need you to understand is that if you are doing all the right things with losing weight, but you have an unhealthy gut, you are not going to see the weight loss results that you want. Now, if you're looking at me and you're like, Skylar, well, I have no idea what you're talking about what is even gut health so your gut is basically a microbiome of many many different species of bacteria so if you picture a rainforest you go into a rainforest there are so many different types of species some are very productive and healthy some are probably detrimental for the environment and so what a lot of people don't realize is that the gut actually is connected to your brain through something called the vagus nerve and so they literally communicate so if you've ever gotten anxious before probably feel a pit in your stomach that is the gut and the brain communicating and so with the health of your gut when it comes to the bacteria in your gut, you can either create more good bacteria and less bad bacteria, or if you have certain habits in your life, if you live a certain lifestyle, you're gonna allow more of that bad bacteria to thrive and basically reduce the amount of good bacteria in your gut. And so the gut impacts you in so many ways. We can't go into the full-fledged thing tonight. I'm sure there's tons of resources for you if you wanna check it out online. But what we're gonna talk about today is specifically how the gut impacts weight loss, right? Really understanding how the health of your gut is actually gonna impact your ability to lose weight. And so the first thing that comes up is that your gut actually impacts the quality of your sleep. So basically when it comes to sleep quality, if you are in a very light sleep throughout the night, you're not gonna recover as much, which is gonna allow you to stall losing weight. It's gonna allow the exercise not to have as much of a positive impact on you, and it's gonna slow your metabolism. Whereas if you have a very deep restful sleep, you're gonna get all those benefits that are gonna make fat loss easier. Now, the cool thing about the gut is the gut actually produces 90% of your serotonin. Now, serotonin is considered the happy hormone. But what a lot of people don't realize is serotonin is actually what's converted into melatonin, which is the sleep hormone. And so if you are producing 90% of your serotonin in your gut, but you have an unhealthy gut, you're not going to be producing high quality serotonin, which means it's not going to be converted to high quality melatonin, which means you're not going to be going into a deep restful sleep. Even if you get eight, nine hours of sleep, you're not going to be going into the deep quality that actually restores you. Because of that, you're going to have a slower metabolism. So again, you could be doing all the right things with calories in, could be eating less, could be trying to increase calories out by exercising more but if your metabolism is naturally slowed because you're not getting good sleep quality it's going to be a lot harder for you to lose weight the second interesting thing about gut health is if you have poor quality gut health your hunger is actually going to be increased and so in 2011 there was a study of 92 people this was published in the journal of bmc gastroenterology and they found that people who were prescribed antibiotics to knock out basically uh, bacteria h pylori which was due to digestive system problems also saw ghrelin levels rise six fold after the bacteria were completely eliminated. Now hear me out for a second. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. Ghrelin was increased six fold, which means six times more hunger. And so these participants took an antibiotic, which I think a lot of people see as a good thing. But the problem with antibiotics is they wipe out the bad bacteria, but they also wipe out the good bacteria. It's basically like a nuclear bomb going off in your gut. So if you're not smart about replenishing that bacteria, you're going to kill a lot of the good bacteria and you're going to be in that state of more hunger. And the thing here is you don't need to take an antibiotic for this to happen. Even if you just have poor lifestyle habits, poor nutrition habits, if your gut health isn't healthy, regardless or not, if you're taking an antibiotic, you can still see these ghrelin levels rise, which is a huge, huge issue. So again, we go back to this debate of well, weight loss is calories in, calories out. Well, yeah, but if you don't get things in check, it's going to be a lot harder to stay in a calorie deficit because you're going to either want to increase the amount of calories you consume with more hunger, or you're going to decrease the amount of calories you burn with a slower metabolism. The third reason gut health is so important when it comes to weight loss is your bacteria in your gut actually impacts how many calories you can absorb and you 
can burn. And so if you're eating a certain food, but you have good gut health, you're going to absorb a very different number of those calories than if you have poor gut health, which is why, again, if you're reading a label and you're counting your calories every day, it may not matter as much because your gut may be not allowing you to absorb the amount of calories that you think you're getting. And so there's a study done in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, and the results found that the observed association between the gut microbiota and relative stool calories indicates a possible direct role of gut bacteria in calorie absorption. This is in agreement with a previous study that showed the potential of the gut microbiome to regulate nutrient absorption. And so we can look at this from a calorie end, but also when we look at this from a nutrient absorption end, if we're not absorbing the right amount of nutrients, our body's going to crave out more calories so we can try to get more of those nutrients, especially with a lot of the processed foods today. Most of us are energy filled, but devoid of nutrients, meaning we're getting all these calories, but we're not getting the nutrients our body needs to operate properly, which is going to cause our body to want to seek out more. So again, even if you're trying to follow this calorie deficit, if your body is desiring more nutrients or you're not absorbing the proper amount of calories, you're going to create a completely different end result. And here is the fourth thing that I think is kind of relevant to point number two, but gut health can actually predict compliance with a calorie restricted diet. And so basically what a lot of people find when they go into a calorie deficit is their metabolism slows to match that deficit because their body's trying to hold on to nutrients because it doesn't want to get rid of it because it thinks it's starving. So gut health has actually been shown to reduce that impact of the metabolic slowing while you're in a calorie deficit, but also just help you stay more compliant, help you be less hungry, help you burn an adequate amount of calories and stay in line while you're working towards that fat loss. And so the moral of the story here is if you've just focused on calories in, calories out, haven't gotten the results you want, my guess is there's a reason why. Maybe it's gut health. Maybe it's the stress you experience in your life. Maybe it's 10, 20 other things. But the truth is that if you're consistently trying to stay in that deficit and you're failing, or maybe you're losing the weight and you're gaining it back, there is a deeper reason why than just I'm not motivated enough or I'm not disciplined enough or maybe my body doesn't want to lose fat. There's a physiological reason which for a lot of people who have been struggling should be refreshing because it means it's not your fault. And so if you're curious how to improve your gut health, first of all, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll be coming out with a video next week on that topic. But more importantly, we've also got a step-by-step -step program that you can implement into that's going to pretty much guarantee you lose weight, you build muscle, you get healthy. So if you want to learn what we do, how we do it, check the link in the description of this video. We've got a free training there for you. That training is going to lay out step-by-step -step what we do. And I really believe once you watch it, you'll really understand why your attempts in the past haven't worked and what to actually do to lose weight and to see success. But with that being said, if this video helped you or you just have any feedback for me, leave it in the comments of the video. I love hearing from you. But of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.